Hi, and welcome to Live Below the Line with Action Against Hunger. I'm Kerry. I'm Nikesh. And we're going to show you today how to make a curry. Now, when you do the challenge, um, curries and stews will probably be the backbone of your meals for the week. So it's really important to make them really delicious so that you look forward to making your meals. So today we're going to make a curry with new potatoes and chickpeas. Have you ever made a curry with new potatoes and chickpeas at all? From a tin? From no. A tin. Yeah. So uh, I'm quite surprised actually to start with how much has come out of a tin of chickpeas and a tin of potatoes. So this is going to make three portions, so it's a great thing to feed you throughout the week. And then we just run through the ingredients. So we're going to start with a base of garlic and ginger. You could use an onion if you had one cheaply, we don't today, so we're just going to start with these. They give the stew lots of flavour. Tin chickpeas, which we've rinsed. Tin potatoes, uh, which again we've rinsed and we will cube. Some frozen veggies some curry powder. Curry powder is great because it's already lots of different spices mixed together so you'll get a really rich flavour. We're just going to cook it in a little bit of coconut oil and um, also some chicken stock. We've got a bit of protein, we've got a bit of carbs and not quite five of your five a day, five but you know, day, something, now, yeah. But it helps. So um, let's go. Let's the do first it. thing to do with the ginger is to peel it. Okay. And the easiest way to do that is with the back of a spoon. Right, like this. Like that, yeah. And actually, if you turn the spoon over, mm. Oh, I see. You peel it and then you're really, really keeping as much Not of the ginger as possible. Hacking as much off. And then we're just going to mix that. So we'll just cut it down with a little piece of to continue to run your knife over that. Yeah. <laughs> Alternatively, as I said, you could use an onion. Correct. Yes. There we go. And then the garlic. In order to take the peel off, just push the garlic underneath the back of your hand, give it a slight push down, and then we can easily take the peel off. And then much like the, uh, the ginger, we're just going to mince it. So if we run our knife up, make a little flap, mm -hmm. and come down with the knife, and then run the knife over the other way, and we'll get loads of tiny bits of garlic. Now we're just going to finish off prepping the potatoes by quartering them. Mm -hmm. The potatoes will get nice and thick and stewy, um, but if we leave them whole, they'll take quite a long time to right. kind of melt down. So right. if I move that out of the way, finish off with these mm -hmm. that we've already started to chop earlier. Just quartered, yeah? Just quartered, yeah. Good to go. Great. Um, so now Perfect. we're going to move around to the stove. There you go. Large saucepan. First thing I'm going to do is put the coconut oil in and let it um, melt down. Um, coconut oil is a really great um, fat to cook with. You can also buy it fairly cheaply. Mm -hmm. um, alternatively, if you just had um, olive oil, you could use that too. So we're going to pour that in. I'm just going to wait for that Ooh. to melt. So I'm just going to slide these in. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice little sizzle. Sizzle in a okay. way, yeah. We don't want to burn these, so I'm just going to cook them out. And the next thing we're going to do is to put the veggies in. And then we're going to put the potatoes and the chickpeas in, along with the spices. Oops. The fun bit, potatoes <laughs> going wild, and chickpeas. Chickpeas, yeah, give it a good stir. Brilliant. Smelling amazing already. And then we're going to add the spices. Curry powder. Yeah, straight curry in. powder straight yeah. in, that's just a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add the stock. So we're ready stock. for the stock now. So that's Great. 250 mils of chicken stock. If the curry gets too dry, we might pour some in later. So then we're going to bring that to the boil, and then we're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, so now that the curry's been cooking for about 20 minutes, you can say that the sauce has thickened up really nicely. And a way to thicken that up just that little bit more, mm -hmm. because the potatoes are still quite chunky, we're going to mash it, and then we'll okay. get a nice, smooth, rich... So it gets stuck in? Yeah. If you think it's too dry, you can always add a touch more stock. I have to say, it's looking a lot more appealing than when we started. See, I told you. Have confidence. There we go. I think that'll probably just about do it. Get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And then, just because I think we've spared enough budget, we're just going to add a pinch of salt just to give okay. it, help it the flavour a little bit more. Give it a good stir. Cool. And then we're ready to serve up. So remember, this serves three people. There's mm -hmm. just two of us. We want to leave some. Ready to give it a taste? Let's. Mmm, good. I'm happily eat that. 
chicken stock has really helped to give the, yeah. the stew a really nice flavour. Not bad for a cheap meal. No, <laughs> not at all. So we're serving up this curry with rice. We just made the rice earlier. Rice is a really cheap way of uh, filling out your meals. So thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to find out more about the challenge, please do sign up to Action Against Hunger's website. Best of luck, guys.